en a mana, en a reo, en a iwi, en a rao rangatira ma. Tenakoto, tenakoto, tenatato katoa. No airangi, no ingarangi, o kutipuna. Te mangai te kota hitanga, o urupia hao. Ko Lawrence Meredith, toko ingoa. Today, I have three points to offer. First, I'm Irish and I was raised in Yorkshire in a dairy farming village. And although my family were not farmers themselves, our experience of village life meant that we were always aware of both the pressures and the joys of being farmers. It's my privilege today to be the European Union Ambassador to Aotearoa. My name's Lawrence Meredith. I've come with my Spanish wife, Maria Fernanda, our three sons, Alex, Ollie, and Julian, and our three cats. And while I can speak six languages, unfortunately, Te Reo Maori is not really one of them yet. I am learning, and so are my boys. And I must say, my boys are learning much faster than me at school, but I'm doing my best. We are all delighted to be here. And when thinking and planning to come here, one of our sons declared that if he was coming, he really wanted it to be a real Kiwi experience. And I think that's the best possible reason for coming to Aotearoa, New Zealand. And for me, one of my main goals is to deliver on the implementation of the free trade agreement between the European Union and Aotearoa, New Zealand. And first of all, I'd like to give credit to Nina Obermeyer, my predecessor as European Union Ambassador to New Zealand. She did really great work, both with the free trade agreement and with Te Taumata. And as I said, when I met your chair, Hone, and the board members, I'm really proud to have the opportunity to build on her mahi going forwards. My role is to encourage trade between the European Union and Maori. I think that there is excellent scope for growth. Looking at the numbers, our two-way trade statistics, there's clearly much more room for growth and I encourage you to look closely at opportunities across the European market. The European Union emerged from the belief that we are stronger together, united in diversity. We are now 27 member states pooling our resources together. I work very closely with the eight member states who are here in New Zealand and also with all of those who are based in Australia. We call ourselves Team Europe and we're a real European family. I wonder if you see the similarities between Maori and the European Union. Each country and each iwi has its own distinctive identity and yet we're all part of a broader family. And when the European Parliament part of our family voted on this free trade agreement, this deal received the strongest support of all trade agreements. And central to that was the inclusion of a chapter specifically devoted to work with the Maori. I'd like to say thank you for making the European Union New Zealand free trade agreement so valued by Europe. Specifically, I'd like to thank Te Tamata for your collaboration during the negotiations and for helping to bring the free trade agreement over the finish line. The chair of Te Tamata spoke in the European Parliament to convey the importance of this deal to New Zealand and to the Maori economy. This really helped. And to repeat, the European Parliament voted in favour with the highest approval rating for any trade deal ever. As the horticulture sector knows, and with some pleasure I hope, thanks to speedy work by both the New Zealand Government and Parliament, the European Union New Zealand Free Trade Agreement will now go live on the 1st of May. Along with my Team Europe colleagues, we're working on the implementation, and I'd really like to extend this mahi to you too. If your business will benefit from the Free Trade Agreement, Please tell your story to the local media online. You've got really great stories to tell. In mid-May, we'll have an event in Auckland and Te Tamata will definitely be invited. So if you want to be sure you're there, please send me an email and I'll make sure to add you to the list. Going wider, we'll travel the motu, selling the free trade agreement. We will focus on the interests and exports of each region where we go. And to add value, I'd really like to ask you, what do you want to know about trading with Europe and how can we help you? I'm really fortunate to be here in Aotearoa at a time where the relationship's really expanding. And I'd like to talk about another of those areas, research and innovation. This is one of the most exciting areas of cooperation we have together. New Zealand is now associated to the world's largest research program, Horizon Europe. And to give you a sense of the scale, the European Union is investing nearly 95 billion euros 
over the period 2021 to 2027. This will allow New Zealand entities to receive funding for collaborative projects with partners across the European Union. Horizon Europe focuses on major global challenges which both the European Union and Maori care deeply about. Climate change, sustainable agriculture, clean oceans, digital adaptation, energy efficiency and public health. New Zealand is the first country beyond the European neighbourhood to enter this association with Horizon Europe and this only started just last year and it's already a success story. The usual success rate for participation in Horizon Europe is 1 in 10. But actually New Zealand have got such top scientists that you're hitting a success rate of 1 in 3. That's really impressive. So I see great opportunity for Maori and great value in having Maori a part of Horizon Europe. This is because of the wealth of traditional knowledge and your ways of doing things that only you can bring to the table. Innovation can lead to commercialization with wider economic and well-being benefits. So, together with my fellow European Union ambassadors, I'm committed to working with you to strengthen the European Union Maori relations. I see the free trade agreement and Horizon Europe both as great bridges to help us do this. I'm really looking forward to joining Te Tomata members at the next HUI. I wish you a really productive day. Nga mihi nui.